Hi, I am Greta, and welcome back to Dear Teen Diary. Today we have entry 64. And I am not actually positive whether or not this is supposed to be a poem. There's definitely no like rhyme scheme or direct syllable count. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a read for you. And then if you think that it was a poem or if you think it was just like an entry, you can comment your opinion below. We'll take a vote and I'll just believe whatever you say. Entry 64. I love one too many. I think I fooled me. Helped a friend date my crush. No, not a crush. An old one. She loves him but doesn't know. He's dating her. Go figure. Love is temporary at 12 unless he, him, who, is Chris. Perfect but a thousand miles away. Gone. Gone is and not here. Ring. Happiness. Joy. Scream, swoon, she knows. She knows about dating Jeff. So there you have it. There's definitely, you know, series of imagery, uh, fragmented questions, repetition is being used, but I really don't recall writing anything this freeform until high, late high school. Gosh, I really wish I knew you know, at this age, I really was only friends with Ariel and Kelsey by proxy. And then I think I was just starting to hang out with a girl named Danielle, who you'll hear more about in seventh grade, and Tara. But, uh, Tara was very hit or miss. We hung out a lot in early sixth grade. And then not not much at all after. Although, I, you know, I think I always got invited to Tara's New Year's parties. Well, always. <laughs> always is in for all of middle school. That was nice of her. And then I didn't get invited to a lot of parties. So at, at this point, I am doing the, uh, the classic like a boy, date a boy, break up with a boy because he's not giving me enough attention or giving me what I want. I'm trying to be a strong, independent woman go about liking other men, realize that I can't just like immediately get this new guy to be my boyfriend and then go back to being convinced that I am in love with the first guy I was dating. Like, oh no, what have I done? This is a pattern. And I feel like it's not just a pattern in me. I feel like this is a pattern amongst like all of, at least Americans, I would say. So there you go, that's entry 64. Um, up next, I will read you entry 65, which is a brief, and non-poetic entry. So if you would like to watch that video as soon as it is posted, there will be a link right here that you can click on and it will take you there. And until then, I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye.